This is the Music History Today podcast for August 2nd. On today's show, Robert Zimmerman gets a name change, the Beatles start headlining the Cavern Club, opera music great Caruso passes away, and Rick James takes Super Freak a little too far. First up, though, on this date in 1961, the Beatles started playing as the house band at the Cavern Club in Liverpool, England, where they were discovered by their eventual manager, Brian Epstein. In 1962, Aretha Franklin performed on television for the first time, and Robert Zimmerman officially changed his name to Bob Dylan. In 1968, Junior Walker and the All-Stars started their European tour. In 1969, Bob Dylan showed up for his 10-year high school reunion. In 1972, Creedence Clearwater Revival started their final American tour. In 1973, John Phillips of the Mamas and the Papas sued his former record label Dunhill for $60 million in unpaid royalties. In 1985, the movie Weird Science with the hit self-titled theme song from Oingo Boingo premiered in movie theaters. In 1991, Rick James was arrested for kidnapping and torturing two women while being high on crack cocaine. He eventually served three years in prison. In 2000, the music video for Madonna's song Music premiered on MTV. In 2007, Elvis Presley's Graceland Estate started their expansion project by adding parts to the mansion such as a museum and a visitor center. In 2019, Ed Sheeran broke U2's record for a highest-grossing tour with $735.3 million in gross sales. It took Ed 246 concerts to do what U2 had done in 110 concerts. Ed's tour ended a month later with a total of $775.6 million. At last check, both Beyonce and Taylor Swift have since eclipsed that number by an awful lot. In theater in 1992, the Broadway show Death and the Maiden closed. Albums that were released on August 2nd include in 1965 when Sonny and Cher released Look at Us. In 1971, the Mothers of Invention released Fillmore East since June of 1971. In 1978, Boston released Don't Look Back. In 1983, Jackson Brown released Lawyers in Love. In 1986, Poison released Look What the Cat Dragged In, a huge album for them. Also, the Vinnie Vincent Invasion released their self-titled album. In 1987, Midnight Oil released Diesel and Dust. In 1988, Dwight Yoakam released Buenos Noches from a Lonely Room. In 1994... Immature release Playtime is Over and the compilation album Borrowed Tunes, a tribute to Neil Young, was released. In 1998, Carly Simon released Greatest Hits Live. In 1999, The Talking Heads released 12 by 12 original remixes. 2004, Jimi Hendrix released Jimi Hendrix Woodstock. In 2005, The Tubes released Wild in London. Also on that same day, Michael Penn released Mr. Hollywood Jr. 1947. In 2010, Arcade Fire released The Suburbs, their Grammy Award winning album. And in 2011, John Hyatt released Dirty Jeans and the Mudslide Hymns. And Screaming Trees released Last Words, the final recordings. Singles that were released in the UK on August 2nd include in 1968 when the Bee Gees released I've Gotta Get a Message to You. And in 1974, Barry White released Can't Get Enough of Your Love, Babe. Meanwhile in America, in 1965, Len Barry released One, Two, Three. In 1967, Dave Davies released Death of a Clown. In 1969, Three Dog Night released Easy to Be Hard. 1971, Paul and Linda McCartney released Uncle Albert and Admiral Halsey. In 1978, Boston released Don't Look Back, the single, to the album that was being released that exact same day. In 1982, Rush released New World Man. In 1984, the Thompson Twins released You Take Me Up. In 1990, Jane's Addiction did a twofer. They released Stop and Three Days. And in 2019... Ariana Grande and Social House released Boyfriend. 
Before we continue, we'd like to tell you about the Music History In-Depth podcast, where we go in-depth on the history of some of the events from the daily version of the Music History Today podcast. The Music History In-Depth podcast drops new episodes every Tuesday in audio and video form wherever you get your podcasts. We also have the Music Halls of Fame podcast, where we honor a year in music along with a member of the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, along with who we think should be in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Plus, we honor a different museum, Walk of Fame, or Hall of Fame. The Music Halls of Fame podcast drops every Thursday in audio and video form wherever you get your podcasts. Now, back to the Music History Today podcast. Artists who were born on August 2nd include singer-songwriter and brat Charlie XCX, Brittany Hargist of Jump 5, Zelma Davis of CNC Music Factory, Pete DeFreitas of Echo and the Bunnymen, singer Andrew Gold, Ted Turner of Wishbone Ash, Jim Capaldi of Traffic, Kathy Lennon of the Lennon Sisters, Doris Kenner Jackson Coley of the Shirelles, Andrew Steele of The Herd, Edward Patton of Gladys Knight and the Pips, Garth Hudson of The Band, country music singer Hank Cochran, singer Helen Morgan, Jimmy Pop of The Bloodhound Gang, singer Mojo Nixon, rapper Mark Lee, guitar player Steve Hillage of Gong, and also the group System 7, Joe Lynn Turner of Rainbow, producer Jonas Blue, singer Baja Rodriguez, singer Britt Nicole, singer Kai Zukun, rapper Bankroll Fresh, composer Jacob Collier, rapper MJ, singer and actress Myrna Loy, jazz bassist Albert Stinson, Brian Cole of The Association, Lee Mavers of The Laws, David Yao of Scratch Acid, Neil Morse of Spock's Beard, Les Dudek of The Steve Miller Band, Andy Fairweather Low of Amen Corner. Patricia Cotero, a.k.a. Apollonia from Prince and Purple Rain fame. Trumpet player Carl Saunders, singer Maciel, singer and dancer Chris Bennett, steel guitarist Hank DeVito of the Notorious Cherry Bombs, singer-songwriter Graham Dye of Scarlet Party and also the Alan Parsons Project, drummer John Stanier of Helmet, guitarist Richard Halabeek, Singer Justina Stakowska, singer Ben Nichols of Lucera, drummer Devin Glynn of Buck Cherry, percussionist Nana Vasconcelos, trombonist Roy Crimmins, composer Joe Harnell, trombonist Warner Mueller, composer Carl Amadeus Hartman, and singer songwriter Lorenzo Herrera. Artists who unfortunately passed away on August 2nd include composer Nathaniel Gruner, who passed away in 1792 at the age of 60. Composer James Hewitt passed away in 1827 at the age of 57. Composer Frank Morey passed away in 1873 at the age of 53. Composer Gabriel Edouard Xavier Dupont passed away from tuberculosis in 1914 at the age of 36. Composer Hamish McCunn passed away in 1916 at the age of 48. Pianist Martin Krauss passed away in 1918 at the age of 65. Opera music great Enrico Caruso passed away in 1921 at the age of 48. Composer Emil von Resnesek passed away in 1945 at the age of 85. Composer Pietro Mascagni passed away in 1945 at the age of 81. 21-year-old country music singer Betty Jack Davis of the Davis Sisters passed away in a car crash in 1953, which also severely injured fellow group member Skeeter Davis. Pianist René Amangyal passed away in 1954 at the age of 42. Composer Prospero Biscert passed away in 1959 at the age of 78. Composer José María Castro passed away in 1964 at the age of 71. Composer Milton B. Babbitt passed away in 1965 at the age of 49. Saxophonist Boyd Rayburn passed away in 1966 at the age of 52. Composer Clarence Dickinson passed away in 1969 at the age of 96. 
Brian Cole of the group The Association passed away from an overdose in 1972 at the age of 29. The conductor of the St. Louis Symphony from 1921 to 1927 and also a professor at the Chicago Musical College from 1928 to 1954. Mr. Rudolph Gans passed away in 1972 at the age of 95. Conductor Carlos Chavez passed away in 1978 at the age of 79. Composer Rudolf Maros passed away in 1982 at the age of 65. Session bass guitarist for Motown Records Session Band, the Funk Brothers, Mr. James Jamerson, passed away from alcohol-related complications in 1983 at the age of 47. David Martin of Sam the Sham and the Pharaohs passed away in 1987 from heart issues at the age of 50. Composer Roger Vuatez passed away in 1988 at the age of 90. Singer-songwriter Mikkel Berger passed away from heart issues in 1992 at the age of 44. Composer Erwin Bazelon passed away in 1995 at the age of 73. Afrobeat pioneer Fela Kuti passed away from AIDS-related illness in 1997 at the age of 58. Ron Townsend of the group The Fifth Dimension passed away from kidney failure in 2001 at the age of 68. Singer and actor Don Estelle passed away in 2003 at the age of 70. Musician Don Tosti passed away in 2004 at the age of 81. Rockabilly artist Billy Lee Riley passed away in 2009 at the age of 75. Gospel music singer DeLewis Campbell passed away in 2011 at the age of 85. Opera music singer Marguerite Piazza passed away in 2012 at the age of 86. Singer-songwriter Jimmy Jones passed away in 2012 at the age of 75. Rosetta Hightower of the group The Orlans passed away in 2014 at the age of 70. The conductor of the Annapolis Symphony, Mr. Leon Fleischer, passed away in 2020 at the age of 92. And Ray Majors of Mott the Hoople and also the group The British Lions passed away in 2022 at the age of 73. Next on the Music History Today podcast, it is August 3rd, when in 1926, the late, great Tony Bennett gets his signature song. Thank you very, very much for listening, if you're listening on the podcast, or if you're watching this on YouTube or Spotify video. As always, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and share this podcast. And if you like this podcast and you want more of our podcasts, then I invite you to check out our Music Halls of Fame podcast in either audio or video form. It drops every single Thursday. You can listen to the audio version of this podcast on Apple, Anchor, Spotify, Google Podcasts, CastBox, wherever you get your podcasts from, all under Music History Today. You can also watch the video version of this podcast on either YouTube or Spotify video, also under Music History Today. Our Facebook page is Music History Today. Our website is jamaritaniamedia.com. And our Twitter is twitter.com backslash Music History Day. Thank you very, very much for listening or watching. <laughs>